Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you all this amazing way how you can play Pokemon Sword and Shield and download it on um, your PC guys. So as you can see this is my PC right now and I've got the game um, and it's really easy on how you guys can do this. So it's working on any like any PC that you have guys got um, and all you're going to really need for this guys is just to watch my video until the end and you're going to see the full instructions guys on how I did this. So yeah, let's get right into it. I'm going to get off the gameplay guys. I'm going to get off my PC and show you guys how I did this. So it's pretty simple guys what you're gonna need is to go onto your browser on your phone and yeah I recommend you do this on your phone guys go to the website modwiz.net slash PC sword shield so go ahead and type exactly as you see here and don't leave the, the video yet guys just you know watch until the end it's only gonna take like two three more minutes I promise by the end of this video you're gonna have your sword and shield on your PC guys so once you're on the site go ahead and type in your email address Make sure you type it correctly, guys. This is very important because this is where they send you the download files for um, um, Pokemon Sword and Shield. So make sure you type it in correctly. Um, and then select, guys, um, what device you're on at the moment. So I'm on an Apple device. And then select the version of, of the Pokemon game that you want. So you got either Sword or Shield. Um, I want Sword, but you could choose Shield if you want. Anyways, guys, or you could choose both, actually. But you would have to do the process two times. So let's go ahead and click Continue. And then guys, I'm going to show you all what to do next. So it's very easy. And I've already got this set. Like I showed you guys already, I got it on my PC. And honestly, it took like, I'm going to be honest, it took like 10 minutes to install. Like it's, it was a fast install. And the game honestly looks better on PC than it does on Nintendo Switch. Um, I have it both on Nintendo Switch and PC. But yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the rest of the steps. So right now, it's just preparing to generate. Let's just go ahead and give it a second here. But yeah, guys, um, let me know how much fun you're having with the game. Like, it's definitely addictive, and this is probably one of the best Pokemons that I've ever played. It's so fun, and I can't wait to beat the whole campaign um, and then start playing online against players. But yeah, now it's just disconnecting, and as you guys can see, there is going to be one more step, and it's going to say the download is ready. We just need to make sure you are a human and not a bot. Please pass our human verification. All right, so this button is going to pass. Uh, this this is going to pop up right here. Uh, don't freak out if you see this. This is normal. Click verify now. And this is what it's going to take you guys to Pokemon Sword and Shield PC Downloader. So, following complete the instructions of two free apps below, and once completed, the download files will be sent. So, guys, basically, all you have to do now in order to download um, Pokemon Sword and Shield on your PC is to um, you're going to see some apps here on your screen as well. And if you click on one of them, you're going to see it has like these unlock instructions. I'm going to go ahead and do one of them. Um, as an example, so this one's saying to download the app and then run it for 30 seconds. All right, so that's pretty basic. So you just download the app, run it for 30 seconds. All right, pretty smooth. And then guys, we go back and try another app. And keep in mind, guys, you got to do two apps and um, make sure you follow the instructions for each of them. Otherwise, it won't work, guys. So right now we're just running um, these apps. And then once you've done two apps, guys, um, you just go ahead and check your email, and they will send you the uh, code. With, um, I mean, they'll send you the download files so you can go ahead and start installing Pokemon Sword and Shield emulator um, on your PC, guys, and start playing for free. So, yeah, it's that easy. Uh, if for some reason you don't get your email, though, you probably didn't follow the instructions of the apps correctly, guys, uh, of the apps. So go back, uh, make sure you follow them correctly, and everything should be good after that, guys. So thank you very much for watching the video. Hope you all enjoyed. Let me know if you have any concerns or questions, guys, and I'll catch you on my next tutorial, guys. See ya.